Till now, we are getting the values from application.properties. Now, as we discussed earlier, the limit service is connected with the Spring Cloud config server and this is the place where all our common configurations will be placed and that will be talking to Git. So basically we will be keeping everything in the Git and this Spring Cloud config server will be picking the values from the Git and it will be used on demand from these microservices. Let's go ahead and do that. So the next thing we will need is to create another microservice that is a Spring Cloud Config Server. So let's go and do that. How we can make this? We have to make another Spring Boot project for that. So let's try a different way of creating a Spring Boot project now. You can also create the project in a different way to go to Spring Initializer. Start.spring.io. That's the website. And here you have to select the Maven project and language is Java. The version which we are going to use is 2.2.2. Make sure you are using the same version across your application. So limit service application is having the version 2.2.2. Release. We'll be using this version. Now the group ID will be keeping is techno tab and the artifact id is your name of the project bring cloud config server and the other thing is dependencies so the dependencies that we are going to use is dev tools and we are also going to use config server now you can click on generate project so it will download your project now go to downloads I will cut it from here and keep it in my workspace so that it will be easier for me to find it out or maintain in one common place. I will extract it here and delete this. Now we have to go and import the project from our STS. Click on file, import, existing Maven project. Click on next and click on browse and open the project. And click on select folder. The form will automatically come here. Now click on finish. It will download the project. It will take some time to download it fully. So the download is complete. Now let's have a look of what all things we have got in the POM. It's a good practice to close all the other tabs which are not in use. It will not be confusing for you. Now in the POM, what all things we have got? Let's keep it full screen and see. We have got the Spring Boot version 2.2.2. Release. This is the first dependency Spring Cloud Config Server, and the second one here we added is DevTools. This will be by default, and the other things are by default. We'll also get a starting file with the main method. Now let's make the configurations. Open your application root properties. Here we will give our application name. Spring dot application dot name equals to Spring Cloud Config Server. We have also discussed like we will be giving some particular port to our applications. In this case, we have discussed like we will give a Spring Cloud Config Server port of 8888. So server dot port equals. Now you might be thinking, how do I remember all these things? Spring dot port or if Spring dot application dot name. So these things will come after you have gained some experience. You will be remembering all these things slowly. So don't worry about all that. Now we have created our limit service and we have created our Spring Cloud Config Server. The next step will be to install the Git locally. Let's install the Git locally. So what you have to do, you have to go to browser and search for Git. So Git is a free open source distributed version control system designed to handle everything from a small to very large project with a speed and efficiency. So it is very self-explanatory. We'll go to gitscm.com and here you can get lots of information about Git. Basically, if you don't know even anything about Git, you should only know that this is a version control system where we will be storing all our code. It's like a cloud where you can store all your code like how we have here github.com that is a cloud based storage to store projects. So Git assume basically you can create your own Git locally. You don't have to depend on the GitHub. So first of all, we will be creating this locally. So we will be installing it locally here. What you can do, you have to just click on download for Windows. If you are on other system, you can see it here or you can get the download option from here as well. As I am on Windows, I will download the Windows version of Git and 64 bit setup 
our download is done let's open the folder and try to install this click on next 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 it's pretty easy installation just keep everything default and click on next next so our installation is done now if your installation is successful then you will be able to see this here when you right click you will be seeing here git gui here or git bash here this shows that your git installation is successful we have installed the git locally the next thing that we will do is creating the local git repository or we can create a local git repository let's go and see so you go to any folder wherever you want to create the git repository suppose i have choose this folder and right click here and click on git bash here here you can directly make a directory here or you can make the directory from the terminal how we can make the directory mkdir and the folder then that you want to give git local repository and you can see a new folder is created here now navigate to this folder or we can navigate cd and for copying this folder you just have to double click on it and to paste it the shortcut is shift insert you are inside this folder now once you are inside this folder you have to initialize this folder in the git how do you initialize any repository the command is git init init and you can see initialized empty git repository and you will see a master here it is not a folder actually it is a branch that is automatically by default created once the git is initialized the next thing that we would do is to connect this git local repository to our application which application the spring cloud config server application then how do we connect a local git repository to our spring cloud config server just have to right click here and go to build path and link a source and select the folder source folder this is the folder that i created select it the folder name is git local repository click on finish and you can see that the git local repository is here now this folder is connected to your config server in this config server i want to create a new file a text file let's say limits configuration limits service configuration dot txt click on finish and the properties that i have used in the limit service application properties i just want to take it from there and keep it here i'll just copy it and keep it here i want to change the values let's say i will keep this time 20 and maximum is 2000 to save the changes now you have added a text file here it will be picked up by this application directly in the git you have to follow when you are using it you have to follow some procedures like you have to first commit those changes then you have to push those changes how we can do that you have to go to the folder where you have created your git and right click on it click on git bash here when you say git test status there are a few set of git commands that you should be learning so that it will be very useful it's not much but it will be very frequently used so you should you can write it somewhere so that you can use it very frequently so you can see here no commits yet and in the red mark it is showing one file name so this is the same file name that we have created just now why it is in the red mark because we have not actually added to the git added to the git in the sense whatever the changes we make to this folder that is being tracked by this git so even if you change one space also it will show that you have made some changes in this file and you have to move it to some memory the git memory so that it can know that okay the changes are saved now so that's how it is called a version control system so how we can add this text file the command is git add and if you want to add only this file you can just insert this file and if you see a lots of file here in the red color that means that one by one you cannot add it here so you can just give git add minus a and click on enter that time it will add all the changes now when you again type this git status now you will see this in the green color that means that this file is now ready to be committed so for committing it you have to type git commit and you have to give some message to the commit that is minus m 
and in the double quotes the message minus m means that message that you want to give i will say this is my first commit and click on enter so for the first time when we are setting it up we have to get, give our email address how we can set the email address it is not taking the commit as of now because i have not given any global email address or username to this so git config global we have to add this command now let's try to commit it again you can see your one file changed two insertions made now when you type git status you will get nothing to commit now once you have this changes committed you can just click on git push one more thing you should notice here that git push will not work in your local because this is not a remote repository git push will be using just to push our code to any remote repositories like for example if you want to push this code to github we have to use the git push command now let's move to the next step the next thing that we will do is to connect our spring cloud config server with this local git repository so how we can do that let's go and see we have made a text file here and to give the location of this text file we need to configure this in our application.properties so which application.properties we will be making the change we are connecting this spring cloud config server with our git repository so it's better to close all the other tabs while you're working with one of the service so now here we need to give the path for our configuration file that is stored in the local repository how we can give that we can use spring cloud config server dot git dot uri equals and you need to provide the location for your file so where is the location just copy this location and paste it here now so as this is a file we have to give this annotation file colon double slash and just save it now run this application is a spring boot application You can see here that the Tomcat is started at port 8888. Let's go to the browser and open this port localhost colon 8888 slash. You have to give the name of the file that you have it here. Copy this, paste it here, and slash default. Click on enter and it will give you page not found 404 error. So, why we are getting this error? Let's go and check it here. In this application, one more thing you have to take care is that this is a config server and open the main class of this. You need to enable the configuration, otherwise, your configurations will not work. So, the annotation that you need to give is enable config server. Save it and wait for the changes to pick up. So we are getting an invalid server configuration. Our application is not able to start. And let's read at the error message carefully. Invalid config server configuration. If you are using a git profile, you need to set a git URI in your configuration. So the error here is it is not able to recognize the git URI. Let's go and check it here. Okay, so the spelling should be config server. Okay, now it should work fine. So I can see that my Spring Cloud config server is up now. Let's go to the browser and refresh this. And now we are getting illegal state exception. Actually, when we are getting this kind of errors, it's we are covering all the scenarios where you people can get such kind of exceptions. So it's better that we are getting exceptions. One of the important sign of a good developer is to read all the exceptions completely because these exceptions are meant for your help. So we can see your illegal state exception cannot convert URI to file. It's clearly saying that the error exists in this file name only. Let's go to the file and the error is here itself. You have to change this directory name like this save it and wait for the application to pick up changes the application is started now let's go and hit a refresh button so you can see that our file is loaded but we don't have the values here yet and let's see why you are not getting the property source so one more thing you should know from here this should not be a text file extension what i mean to say is that this file name should be dot properties let's go ahead and change it right click and rename click on ok 
and wait for changes to pick up and the server is started now let's go to the browser and click on refresh so now you can see here we are getting the property sources with the limit service max minimum 20 and the maximum 2000 that we configured we are also getting the name of the properties file that is configured here so till now what we have done is we have connected our spring cloud config server to the git repository and few things you should also notice that this limit service and currency exchange service and all these microservices will be having multiple environments so all these environments based on the QA, the dev environment, and the prod environment, you can create a text file with the extension of prod or dev or QA. And in place of this default, that environment name will be coming. You can see that the profile here is default. You can keep it a dev profile. Based on that, it will pick up the properties file. One thing also you should take it from here that in the application.properties, we are using this local file name. You can also point this to a remote repository if you want to give the location of your github surely you can go ahead and keep it without any problem in the real time we will not be keeping it in our local we will be keeping it in git repository only